In this media, you will learn about construction of a compact fluorescent lamp. The most important advance of a CFL is replacing the electromagnetic ballast by electronic ballast. Compact fluorescent lamp has two main parts, namely gas discharge tube and electronic ballast. The glass tube is filled with argon gas and mercury vapor. The internal surface of the glass tube is coated with a triphosphor. A compact fluorescent lamp has two electrodes, which are small filaments at each end of the cavity. Electronic ballast is a device used to control the applied voltage between the electrode filaments. Electronic ballast circuit consists of a rectifier, filter, capacitor, and two switching transistors. There are two types of CFLs, namely integrated and non-integrated. In integrated type, the electronic ballast and the tube are placed together in a single unit. In non-integrated type, the electronic ballast is permanently fixed in the lighting fixture and the tube is separately fixed. Normal life of compact fluorescent lamp ranges from 6,000 to 15,000 hours. The life of non-integrated type is better than integrated type. The compact fluorescent lamp is available in different shapes. There are single turn double helix, double turn, triple turn, quad turn, and butterfly. Different colors of CFLs available are soft white, bright white, cool white, and K light. Thus, you learnt about construction of a compact fluorescent lamp. In this media, you will learn about operation of a compact fluorescent lamp. The operation of compact fluorescent lamp has two processes. There are conversions of electrical energy into UV radiation and conversion of UV radiation into visible light. Let us first see about conversion process of UV radiation. The input voltage controlled by the ballast circuit is as described below. The rectifier converts input AC voltage into DC voltage. This DC voltage contains distortions and harmonics which are removed by the filter capacitor. Switching transistors are used to convert DC voltage into AC voltage. The output voltage of ballast circuit is applied between the electrode filaments. A current is passed through the electrode filament to heat it up. It forms low pressure inside the cavity and causes electrons to flow from the hot filament of one electrode and to accelerate along the cavity. The electrons collide with the mercury atoms so energy is transferred to the mercury atoms and they become excited. The mercury atom liberates energy in the form of UV radiation. Now, let us see about conversion process of visible light operation. The glass tube is lined with a coating of a fluorescent material called phosphor. Fluorescence is the emission of light by a substance which is subjected to UV radiation. The phosphor coating absorbs the ultraviolet and re-emits visible light by fluorescence. Advantages, high efficiency, more energy efficient, consumes less power and lifetime is longer. Disadvantages, compact fluorescent lamp is more sensitive to temperature, has slow warm-up time, and contains toxic gas such as mercury. Thus, you have learnt about operation of a compact fluorescent lamp.